Shalom. So I want to share something that it's on my heart today. And I believe I have to share this because I believe it's going to help the young girls out there. Because it's from experience. And just don't give your heart to just anyone. I had to learn the hard way. Because years ago, I was giving my heart to the wrong people. And I, was get, and I got it broke so many times. But four years ago, I got my heart broke the worst. I was in pieces. The Lord had to mend me back together. It was like the hardest thing that I ever went through. And I had to learn. And this has been so hard for me to share, but I know I need to share it. And I know I need to start opening up and sharing things and my experiences, what I've went through, the trials. And I always question to the Lord, like, why, Lord, why? Because years ago, when I got my heart broken, what happened was, I was so broken that I didn't even know who I was no more. I lost my joy, I lost my laughter, I lost making sound effects, because I love, you know, making sound effects. And I was even questioning, saying, Lord, who am I? I didn't even know who I was anymore. It was the most terrible time in my life. And I had to learn the hard way but Jesus had to teach me, don't just give your heart to anyone. You have to wait upon the Lord. He will send you the right one. Seek the kingdom first and everything shall be added unto you. That's what Jesus says in his word. We have to wait patiently upon the Lord. You can't just keep running around just giving your heart away. And the Lord has taught me too. We have to... Um, let people um, earn our trust. If someone wants to get to know you, you got to let them earn your trust. Yeah, I mean, it's like so dangerous nowadays. I mean, we're in some really dark days. There's monsters out there. And I'm not kidding either. I'm not joking. I'm serious. Now, yeah, I do like to joke and stuff and have fun and, you know, laugh and crack up. But, I mean, I'm being serious right now. So, yeah. But, yeah, the Lord has taught me. Um, we have to obey Jesus. We have to be loyal to Jesus and faithful to Jesus. And keep trusting in him to give us the, the things that we need, the things that, you know, are right for us, the things that we desire. He will, if you desire marriage, if you wanna be with the right one, then you have to wait upon Jesus. Let Jesus show you who is the right one. You gotta be really careful. Yeah, I had to learn. I had to learn the hard way. I had to keep getting my heart broken. And what happened was, when I got my heart broken, I was in pieces. The Lord had to mend me back together because for years, I was, I was broken. I, I, I would cry. I, I lost my joy, my laughter. It was, it was so... How do I explain it? Just terrible. And I always told the Lord, I don't want to ever go through that again. Don't make the mistake that I did. Please don't. Save yourself the pain. Obey Jesus. And I had to keep crying out to Jesus to heal me. 
I had to keep crying out, saying, please, Lord, heal me. Heal my heart. Put me back together. And he did. He did. He heard my prayers and he answered my prayers. He put me back together. But it wasn't easy. It was a struggle. I had to go through so much. It was so hard because I had to keep fighting to get my healing and begging the Lord. But praise Jesus, he did heal me. He mended me back together. But it wasn't easy, it wasn't. And I, but I praise Jesus, he gave me my joy back because the joy of the Lord is my strength. And I lived, I live and learn. You know, you live and learn. You got to live and learn. <laughs> yeah, and... Um, but I praise Jesus every day that he healed me. And, you know, I'm still healing a little bit more. I got a little bit more healing to do. But, wow, yeah, how the Lord has healed. And the Lord could heal and restore you. He's healed and restored me, and he could heal and restore you. Cry out to Jesus. Um, and if you've been hurt, just keep praying and letting the Lord heal you. Um, and I had to get healed, too, from rejection, too, because... Um, what happens is when you're you, when you get so broken and stuff, um, you put up so many walls too in your life, and um, you're afraid to love again, and and you know you're afraid of rejection. Like the Lord had to show me to. He had to show me in a dream, um, what was really going on in me, and and what happened was you know fear built up of rejection and, and being afraid to love again. And, and so, yeah, the Lord had to show me what I needed to, to, uh, be cleansed of, you know, and what I needed to repent of, you know, repent of that fear. Um, so, you know, I want to share this and just don't make the mistake that I made. You don't want to go through that pain. Trust me, oh my goodness, it was, it was really hard. It was some dark days in my life. Now I wait upon the Lord. I seek Jesus and, you know, I know that he will, he will show me. He shows me what's right. He shows me what he wants me to do. And he leads and guides me. Well, let the Lord lead you and guide you. The Lord is faithful. You gotta trust in Jesus. You gotta have faith in Jesus. And we must obey Jesus. It's all about obeying Jesus, the true King. It's all about being loyal, loyalty to Jesus. Wait upon the Lord for the right one. If you're looking um, for marriage, wait upon the Lord. Pray to Jesus. Ask the Lord if he has someone for you. Ask the Lord for a man that truly has Jesus' heart, that truly loves Jesus, that's loyal to Jesus. And then... When that man is loyal to Jesus, he'll be loyal to you. I praise Jesus for healing me. The Lord is faithful. His faithful love endures forever. Praise Jesus. Shalom.